Before you send this fan to its demise, we can go ahead and cut that cord off of it. This is what I've done. I've cut the cord off of it, and I'm going to make a little cheater cord. And why, you ask? Well, I'm going to tell you. You know, when you go to a refrigerator, you want to know if the water valve is working. Sometimes you can ohm out the coil on that valve, and it shows good, but you... You still don't know if you're getting water through it and if you're, if you're getting enough water. So you make a cheater cord that you can plug onto these terminals and then you plug it into the wall. Of course, the tube that comes out of the and goes up to the ice maker, you want to take it out and put it into a bucket or something and see what kind of water stream you have. And what I've done, the refrigerator that I am going to scrap I pulled the Molex plug off of the water valve and I'm going to splice this onto the end of my cord and I'm going to make a cheetah cord out of this. That way, when I want to check a valve for water pressure, all I got to do is plug this in, plug this in into the wall and I'm going to get a water stream. I know I got enough water to that ice maker. Here, check this out. Got all my pieces and parts here, and I'm gonna go ahead and trim this back. I'm gonna pull this apart enough to where I can get a butt connector over this and over that so that I can use this Molex plug. So I get my little strippers here. And I got that pretty even. And strip that back, twist those together. Go ahead and put my butt connector on. This is a good little tool. It's a crimper itself. So you just put this in there, give it a good little squeeze. And that wire is not coming out. So I'm gonna do my other one. So I'm ready to put my Molex on, so I'll go ahead and strip these wires back. And this Molex has got two wires on it here. I'm only going to need to use one. and make my connections. Okay, so I got that good and tight on there, good and crimped on, good and snug. And I'll show you on this water valve, most all these coils, the spade connectors are 
the same distance apart. So this Molex plug is going to pretty much work on any coil that you hook it to so that you can just plug it in, put your water source to it on the big end here, turn the water on. Once the water's on, plug this into an outlet and you're going to start getting spray in there. This is a good little tool to have. You just bundle it up. You can put a little zip tie around it just to hold it in place. Put it in your tool bag and you'll have a good little cheater cord for testing coils on water valves, making sure you've got good water pressure making sure the coil is good or bad. Either way, it's a good handy little tool to have in your bag. A little cheater cord. All right, so I put this Molex plug on this, this cord here, but if you don't have a Molex plug, just get you a couple of these little spade terminals with an insulated back on them, and you crimp that on the end of your wire. Takes a little bit more effort to plug these on the coil separately, but I mean, it's not that big of a deal. You can do it, but just get your spade connector, crimp it on your wire like so. You don't have to worry about having a Molex. It's not necessary, but it just makes it a little bit easier because it's already separated to go that distance between the coil. And as you can see, it's the same. And now, like I said, 99.9% .9 of your coils are going to be separated by that much anyway. So a Molex plug is going to make it really convenient for you. So if you do have an old refrigerator with an ice maker hookup on it, and you're going to toss that refrigerator to the dump, cut your Molex plug off of it, make you up a cheater cord with some dumpster fines, and put this in your tool bag, and you're good to go. So there you go. Cheater cord. That's what it is. That's what it's for. It might help you and it'll save you a little bit of time and some aggravations when you're working on a refrigerator ice maker and uh, you're not really sure if you're getting water to it. It's a good quick way to test it to be sure that, that the coil is good. And if it, this is a direct source of, to power to that coil. So if you plug this in and you plug it into the wall and it doesn't give you water, chances are that valve is bad. And of course you can use your meter on it. But this is a good little quick test as well. And there's other options you can use with this. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you use a cheater cord for. Or what would you use it for? And also, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next video.